think this would probably be a good example to show you what I'm talking about. Again, I hope the camera picks this up. Pretty confident it's getting it. This, you can see like the See that? Yeah, that's got to be asbestos. It's scraping off like fibers that are most assuredly going into my skin. But honestly, I don't care that much. Isn't that weird though? What you would otherwise think is just some interesting crystals or rocks it comes apart like the fibers. No wonder they thought this stuff was so great. Another thing I've got here, I just realized the camera orientation. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway. Got a Geiger counter with me. Well, Geiger counter, dosimeter combo. Um, because there are some holes that I'm gonna go into, and I eh, figured I'd play it safe. They're not, they're probably probably none of them are deep enough to worry about noxious gases or anything like that, but or lack of oxygen. But uh I have this card that came with the unit. And it has alarms. I know it's hard to see, sorry about that. It'll tell you when it detects a change in uh, category of, you know, normal, high, whatever. Audible alarms too. I found this piece up the hill there. And right at the top there, right here, it looks like a stripe of green. And of course, you know, I brought this thing, so I had to test it. I don't know. I swear that in my travels, I have come across uranium ore. And just didn't know it, because right before I bought this thing, you know, I was getting more and more concerned. I should probably take things a little bit more seriously. Radiation, noxious gases, you know, I don't have an oxygen meter yet, but it's, I plan to get one. So, I started looking up pictures of uranium ore, stuff like that, and I was like, I've seen that shit. I swear. Um, but, you know, I don't know my rocks and minerals nearly well enough to be certain about that so I got this thing and yeah it's taken away there it's on top of this interesting looking doodad and I already tested this one it doesn't actually it's hard to see because of the glare It's nothing. The Geiger tube is actually right at the top there. Inside here, you can you can see it. Yeah, this thing you can get on Amazon. Honestly, I, I don't remember how much it was. But it had great ratings. I wouldn't go for one of the cheap Chinese random brand things on there just because it's kind of important to get this right. <laughs> I mean, if you're buying a decimeter... You're buying it for a damn good reason, and you just just spend the money on a good brand. Seriously. Something like that. That would be so stupid to skimp on. Um, but there's there's a few different, you know, name brand ones. This is uh, GQ. You can see the model number. It's, um, it's got a uh, data port. Data port, USB port combo. It's not just a charging USB. In other words, yes, it's antiquated. What is that? USB type 
USB or something. I don't know. It comes with the cable. It's, you know, you can, it's an open protocol. So they have software you can put on your computer. I think they have Linux stuff too. I don't intend to ever use it, but um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that big of a nerd where I need to plot graphs of the places I've been or something. But, um, but over here, you can also see a lot of the fiber stuff. Well, maybe you can see it. I can see it anyway. A lot of the... Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Good example. Glistening in the sun. It's like this um, amber, kind of like amber yellow colored stuff. And there's a whole, there's a whole huge, you can see the base of it right there. Big pile of mine tailings that just goes up right over there. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm going to have this thing going whenever I go into any random mine shafts anymore. Interesting stuff. No uranium so far, though. Yeah. Later.